Hello, hello, and welcome back for more stolen organs and frostbitten scrotums than a Grey's Anatomy season finale in Perfidious Pete Plays Rimworld. And I don't know about you, but I'll never forget the dramatic season-ending cliffhanger that left me wondering, for an entire summer, mind you, whether or not Dr. Meredith Grey would be skilled enough at reconstructive urology to save Dr. McDreamy's scrotum, or whether he would tragically never fuck again. But apparently Krusty Cornelius must have missed that episode because he learned nothing from my summer of torment. He's sleeping, as you can see, nude in freezer, which is not exactly the greatest idea because it not only runs the risk of having him wake up with his ball bag frozen to the floor, but is probably also jeopardizing that new lung we just got him with a nice bout of pneumonia. I'm very angry at you right now, Krusty. Very angry at you. I mean, come on, we just stole that lung out of a living human, and you're already treating it like a rental car that you picked up at the airport out of state. You did, you, a little caution, man. You didn't even take the extra insurance on that thing. If it goes tits up, we are never going to be able to afford to replace it. Just uh, the level of irresponsibility here being shown by Krusty Quinius is it's just egregious is what it is. Also, like how serious is the hypothermia needs? Krusty is happily nude. Someone's organ harvested, ugly environment, slept in a cold. So he's getting a very mild, he's freezing, experiencing acute pain. What does his health look like here? Muscle parasites untreated. He has serious hypothermia. All right, you know what, Krusty? Get your ass up. Can we not, can we not wake Krusty up? Draft Krusty. Get, get out, you idiot. Get out of the fucking freezer. Oh, Krusty's real jacked up. All right. Get undrafted and go do whatever... Waiting in safe temperature. See, now this is a respectable behavior for you, Krusty. Also, maybe go put some clothes on. I know you're a nudist and you're most happy when naked. Now is not the time, though, dog. It's winter. It's 44 degrees outside. You just let your nutsack freeze to the floor. Please tell me you're going to seek out some clothing, Krusty. Is this what you're doing? Are you currently seeking out clothing? He's in a moderate amount of pain. How's his hypothermia? Okay, his hypothermia is down to minor. So a little time spent... In a warm environment, Krusty's got himself all warmed up, and now he's putting some clothes back on. See, this is wise behavior, Krusty. Uh, Alaska, you're really getting into the whole sewing thing, huh? Okay, so he's not going to make cowboy hats, because we have more cowboy hats than we need. We actually have a lot of clothing idle, and it doesn't seem like we have anywhere to store it, because it's just getting thrown on the floor. Let's crank up the timer a little bit. We're also not getting any research done. And we need to... Why are we out of power? What is... Uh, what's chewing up all of our power, though? Turrets are off, right? Turrets are off. Um, Now, this is not good. Why are we out of juice? Hmm. It's got to be our hydroponics lab. So, you know what? We're going to have to sacrifice the crops that are in there. We have, I'm pretty sure, more than enough food to get us through the winter. Let's take a look at the old stockpile in the freezer. We got 46 simple meals, which is not a huge number of meals, but we also have, we got a lot of bird meat. We got a whole bear. We got a turkey, couple turkeys, in fact. I think we're good. We can, we'll just have to go with exclusively meat-based foods for the remainder of the winter. And speaking of meat-based foods, while we're at it, we should probably flag somebody to hunt a couple of these buffalo. I mean, they're, they're, they're living up, they're flaunting it right in our face. Then again, buffalo are historically pretty stupid because that's one of the reasons they went extinct. Just stand there and let people murder the holy screaming shit out of them without a care in the world. Buffalo? I, I don't want to victim blame buffalo, but, you know, you kind of deserve to die a little bit. If you'd have been smarter, more of you might have lived. So we're going to put hunt orders on all these buffaloes. We'll stock up meat in the freezer. Don't we have someone who is capable of cooking fine meals now? I believe we do have someone who is both capable... And possibly willing to cook five meals because Lynx will do it, right? She has the skill and she also has cooking as an order. But she's only going to do that if all the hauling, cleaning, repairing, and plant cutting is previously finished. So, yeah, probably she's not going to be making any fine meals. But if she's got some off time, we might be able to get her to do it. Also, we need to make... How come nobody's making stone blocks? What's our... Got to reconfigure our, our work priorities here a little bit, because I kind of feel like they're maybe a little messed up. Alaska the Scholar. So you're going to tailor before doing any crafting or anything else, which is fine, because your crafting skill is actually going up pretty rapid pace. 
What's everybody else doing? Lynx is hauling rocks. She's going to be doing that for like the next roughly 740 years. Batteries are getting charged. We really need power, but in order to get that power, I really feel like the next power facility we build has got to be our geothermal generator. Problem is, we're going to have to move some of these walls in order to build it. Um, who's, who's having a sad wonder? Sphereguard. Someone's organ was harvested. That's the final straw for you, Sphereguard. It's not the whole, I got my arm blown off thing. You're, you're surprisingly okay with that. Nope. Sad thoughts. Slept in the cold. Someone's organ harvested. Okay. All right. That's fine. You slept in the cold because we let the power go out and everything. I mean, it should be warmer in here. It's 62. That's not that cold. It's 69 in here. <laughs> the perfect temperature for Toon and Min to get up to their wild, freak, nasty, buck, nasty action that they get down to every night. But hey, they're a married couple. I mean, how hot can it be? They've been doing this for a while now. It can't possibly be that hot. Also, might as well kill these rabbits while we're at it. You know what we really should kill? We really should kill this timber wolf that's just chilling out in our base. Or tame it. Who wants a pet timber wolf? I mean, I kind of want a pet timber wolf. Tune is hunting. There's a cold snap. Okay, cold snaps are very bad. And we have the tools we need to, like, thwart a cold snap. So you know what? We're going to take one of these heaters. We're going to stick it in the hospital. We can take another one of these heaters. Because these heaters are currently doing fuck all for us. We built these as part of our Operation Roast with a Lot of Bugs plan. That operation was a miserable and catastrophic failure. At this point, there is no disadvantage to repurposing those. We should also put a light in here. Just uh, give me a little standing lamp. It, it doesn't need to be pitch black in our hospital. We're going to have to replace Krusty's lung again soon, or maybe unfrostbite his scrotum. And I'd really rather do that in the light. You don't want to be performing scrotal surgery in the dark. That's just a recipe for disaster. Krusty, uh, you know, he's getting on there in his years, but he may still want to have kids someday. Meanwhile, Toon is exclusively hunting. It seems like we've got to have somebody who's better suited for hunting than Toon. Don't shoot Lynx in the face, Toon. I love the fact that he stands back to make it as challenging a shot as possible also. So we're getting some sweet muffalo meat in the fridge. Krusty is back to researching. Svergard is no longer wandering in sadness. He's immediately solving his... Okay, self-medicating a little bit, are we there, Svergard? I feel a little blue. Guess I'll blast the fatty boom batty. Well, you know what? That's what the fatty boom baddies are there for. You're feeling a little blue? Go blow a spliff. Krusty, I hate to interrupt your research, but you do need a gun. Go get your damn hog leg back. Thanks. Svergard... The one-armed bandit, Svergard, is out there hunting. You know, if you want to keep that one arm you've got, you maybe shouldn't walk right in Toon's line of sniper fire. I don't mean to fire shots, but I don't want you getting shots fired at you. Production. So I do want to deconstruct these walls so that we can build. So let's see exactly where we need to do that. Turns out that's exactly the right spot. So we got to deconstruct you, 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 and... I'm thinking, what are we, five? Probably need one more because it's like six. Yep, that's exactly what we need. So get that deconstructed once that's out of the way. We're going to try and get this thermal generator built. And that's basically my main goal for this entire episode is just to build the whole thermal generator. That's all we need. Thermal detonators would also be nice. Sure, who doesn't want a sweet thermal detonator? I mean, what if you got to negotiate with Jabba the Hutt? If you got to negotiate with Jabba... His mastery, Mr. Lucas, has taught us that the thermal detonator is the most effective negotiation strategy. Hey, hold, you want to hold your fire there for a minute, Sphere Guard? We got people right in the... Alaska is trying to tame one of those buffalo you're shooting at. Also, did Alaska, did you just get shot? Uh, maybe not. Or were you... She was skinning that buffalo for wool. Are these buffalo tame? I don't think so. They don't now, because if they were tame, they'd have training stuff on them. Who has a major break risk? Alaska. Krusty is a little upset, but not as upset as Alaska. We're 46 food, man. We're down to nine spliffs. Don't we have an order to make those, though? Unfinished cloth button-down shirt. I thought we had a standing order to make. Yeah, we're supposed to keep 30 smoke leaf joints on us at all the time. There's a whole lot of unused smoke leaf in here. I mean, we got plenty of raw materials. Let's uh, Let's get down to making the goods. Once again, Rick is eating our trees. Fantastic. Good work, Rick. I 
really need to get this wall finished. Ah, we, you know, we also need to get somebody at work on stone cutting, too. Maybe we hold, you know what, let's hold off on the clothing thing for the nonce. Let's take this down two, three. Let's just make sure that all these orders are filled. We've got plenty of clothing, I think, for the moment, so let's just leave those bills idle. Because I'd really rather have, I'd really rather have you crafting stone blocks. We need all the stone blocks we can get. One, just to move the stone out of here. But two, we got to get this curtain wall built up. We could put power generating facilities out here as well if we want to. You know, we should make this big enough. Maybe we expand this a little bit and make it big enough so that we can throw a wind turbine out here. How much more? No, that doesn't take dramatically more stone blocks. I don't hate that plan. Let's do that. We might as well, if we're going to build this area out here, we might as well get something useful out of it. We should also build some fermenting barrels at some point. Ah, you know what? I'm rescinding that. The, the wind generator's too big. It's going to be blocked by this hill anyway. The fermenting barrel thing, though, that is a good idea. We should, uh, let's pop about four of those bad boys down in there just so we can get some beer in us. Nobody is moving our turrets. Nobody is building or constructing anything. What are you guys spending all of your damn time doing? Is everybody spending all their time hauling rocks? It seems like everybody's spending all their time hauling rocks. So the pain armies come back for more. Well, I hate to break it to you, pain army, but we're on to your whole one-armed man thing. That shit is not going to fly twice. Zyph the engineer. Pump shotty. Sniper rifle. We could use that. Frag grenades, which are dangerous. So the pain army is... Are you guys wandering or are you going to come straight for us? Now they're going to have a bit of a wander. So we've got some time to prepare. Let's just make sure that the defenses are like... Well, I was going to say are in as great a position as possible, but I'm now very, very worried that these guys are going to come through that way because they may try to break through one door as opposed to trying to come in and assault our main base through our entire armada of traps also that needs to be rearmed I, I hope that bunny's gonna be okay Mr. Bunny you're walking through a minefield there buddy enter at your own risk I mean there are signs posted if anything happens to you you, you don't get to pin that on me that's your fault the area is clearly marked as hazardous is this guy's name Sunflower? No, nope, it's Galloway. The patient. Gallows way. I'll hang him high and leave you for dead. Maybe I'll even shoot you in the head with this sniper rifle. He should just come equipped with a rope. His name has Gallows right in the work. All right, Pain Army's beginning their assault. So everybody's drafted. Even you, Krusty, who are trying to sleep. I'm sorry. Gonna have to take that disturbed sleep debuff. That's just, uh, yep, suck it up. Svagard, take your one hand, be undrafted, and go flip this switch. I want my turrets on. Yeah, turrets are... that's juiced up? Everything's juiced up. All right, Svagard, I don't know what you're trying to do, but you're redrafted, so, you know, don't, don't think about trying anything fun. Everybody get down here. We're going to hope that these guys don't assault through the top. Okay, excellent. They're not going to go for the beat down the door method. They are going to come right into our little death trap. This is perfect. So, Krusty, we want you here. Now, we do want to try and spread out a little bit. Min, you have a pump shotty, so you know what? I want you over here. This is like our back door trap plan. Toon, you got the sniper rifle, so I want you covering the hallway because you can shoot them all the way through. Who else has a really long range gun? Lynx actually has a long range weapon and is also a pretty good shot. So, Vergard, you got, uh, I mean, you got, you know what? I want you over here behind this pile of boulders. And Alaska, you get a pump shotty. I want you over here right next to men, then. Okay, so, well, most of them are already down. And the pirates from the Pain Army are fleeing. So, our intervention was completely unnecessary. We didn't even need to be here for this. Excuse me, Professor, do I need to be here for this? No? Okay. Well, I mean, that's good. That's fine. So let's turn the power off to those. Everybody's undrafted. Krusty, I apologize for waking you up. Turns out it was completely unnecessary. I have no intention of chasing these two. They're going to make it off the map before we can get anywhere near them anyhow. Singer, oaf. All right. I love the fact that this guy's just like, nah, I'm an oaf. I, I, yeah, I'm comfortable with it. They call me an oaf. 
I, I'm 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 self aware enough to realize what I am. I am a bit of an oaf, and I'm not really that ashamed of it. Is oafing? You need a good oaf every now and then. I mean, every group always needs a bit of a laughing stock, or you know, everybody every group needs a, a jerk ass that everybody cuts down behind their back when they're not around. Even though that's kind of a dick move, and that's my oaf's job. That's I'm comfortable fulfilling that niche. I want to be that oaf. So we're definitely going to need probably more steel. We're getting a little low on components as well. We do need more steel, though. Where can we get it? Oh, there's a whole shitload of steel over here. There's 500 steel over here just, like, being unused. Well, somebody will go get it. Looks like, actually, Toon is on the case. Or is that Lynx? That's Lynx. Lynx is on a job. Somebody... Oh, this shit. No, no. Luciferium, that's got to be burned. Toon, can you burn these drugs? I need, I need this Luciferium burned immediately. So we're going to turn power on on the crematorium. We do still have some graves, and somebody may bury a body, which honestly is fine. But I want that Luciferium. I want that shit burned immediately. Tune, switching it on. That's good. Come down here, and can I make you burn these drugs? Can I prioritize burning drugs? Prioritize cremating. Okay, well... You know what we'll do here? Let's add a bill and make the most important thing burning drugs. The The trick is we got to make sure we're burning the right drugs because some of those drugs we want to burn in our face holes. So what are we going to burn? Not beer. Don't, don't ever burn beer. Also, it seems like beer would be remarkably difficult to burn. Don't burn smoke leaf joints. Wake up, yayo, luciferium, go juice, flake. All that stuff needs to be burnt. And burning drugs is our due forever. Burn drugs forever? So we will have no flake, no go juice, no luciferium, no wake up, no yayo. None of that stuff stays in my colony. We're casual drug users exclusively. This is our top priority. We only, you know, we only allow the light stuff. You want to start snorting luciferium, you got to go to some other colony where they got a more lax drug policy. Take these weapons. Somebody should have just straight up equipped that sniper rifle. Not Krusty, though. He only has a trusty 30 out 6. No sniper rifle for you. Who's our second best shot? Svigard, I would give you that weapon, except I know you only have one arm. Lynx, what are you doing? Are you burying a dead guy? Okay, you know what? Now that you're done burying the dead guy, come equip this sniper rifle. And then I think we're probably just going to have somebody cut rearm all these traps. Svigard's hauling a knife. Lynx is picking up the gun and hauling the other gun back to the stockpile. See, that's what I want to see out of you guys. That's just top quality, top quality thinking, good time management. You know what, Lynx? I think you've got middle management written all over you. You really do seem like you should be perhaps in charge of between one and maybe up to six employees. How would you feel about having a small team that reports not directly to you, but, you know, uh, why is it... Yeah, I forgot that I set these all to 350 degrees, so we should probably turn these heaters down a little bit, because it's like 100 degrees in here. Yeah, we're gonna, let's uh, go ahead and set that down. We're not trying to cook a turkey here, we're just trying not to die from hypothermia. So let's put them at a nice comfortable 70 degrees, as opposed to a good temperature for smoking meat. Not 170 either. Oh, a little too far. There we go. I'm not trying to bake your noodles or cook your brains out or anything like that. My bug roasting plan already fucking failed miserably. That's already set to 70. It's only 54 in here. How warm is it in Krusty's room? 51. I really feel like we could use another heater in here, so there's no reason to not just go ahead and reinstall these. Let's, uh, let's toss this one in Krusty's room. And then I guess we'll just bring this second heater up and stick it in this main room wherever we can make it fit. Here, up here seems fine. Our freezer is full of meat. We got a dead bear in here. We got a whole freaking herd of muffalo. We got uh, an all-meat diet going on. These guys are gone on, like, the paleo diet or something. You know what? Burn this go juice. Tune is burning old hats. Yep. Did you burn that luciferium yet? You better have. Yeah, he's going to go to bed. 
There it immediately gets to knock in the boots with men. Those two, they're just insatiable. And I'm not even mad about it. I actually kind of like the fact that they're so fuck mad, really. It's a, it's a good mood builder for them. I'm going to turn this back on and reactivate strawberry growing. Also, it's the 13th of winter, which means winter is coming to an end. We should consider reactivating sowing as well. Men's going to start busting rocks. Or are you sculpting? Okay, you're making a large sandstone sculpture, and it has a trillion billion work left to do. How come you're not cooking, though? Are we at our complement of meals? No, we're way under the number of meals we should have. Men, you should be cooking. Why are you sculpting? Your art is at a two, but your cooking is also at a two. You should definitely be cooking. I mean, we're supposed to have, I think, 50 simple meals is what we've got this set at. Yeah, we're short. We have no fine meals, no simple meals at all. Krusty's going outside into the cold to pitch some horseshoes. Say what you want about Krusty, the man loves his horseshoes. He'll pitch horseshoes in the middle of a raging, out-of-control wildfire. He'll pitch horseshoes in the middle of a pirate raid. He'll pitch horseshoes during a wedding. Doesn't give a shit. He just, man, just loves tossing horseshoes. Rick, what are you doing? Probably going outside to devour some trees. Okay, that's fine. These trees just sprouted into green leafiness, even though it's 10 degrees Fahrenheit outside and the middle of winter. These are a hardy breed, this poplar tree. They're they're resilient. Also, turn that off. If we're not cremating anything, we don't really need to be wasting power on that. Alaska and Sverigard are in here doing a little gardening. This is prudent. Do we have any hops? Have we ever fermented any hops? Fermenting barrel contains no wort. You know what? It occurs to me, I don't think we ever actually built a brewing table to make wort. We should probably do that. So let's get a, where's a brewer's table? Let's grab a brewery. And you know what? I don't see any particularly compelling reason to not just go ahead and flop it down in here. Yes, this is technically a prison cell. And yes, I'm giving my prisoners access to brew their own beer. Probably not the greatest idea of all time. Or is it? Or is it, I ask you? Wouldn't you go for some sweet prison brewed micro brew? If you could get it like a dank IPA that was you knew was hand brewed by a prisoner made by the finest artisanal craftsman in Sing Sing. They could even call it Sing Sing Ling Ling. Ling Ling, the beer from Sing Sing. Get yours today. Sing Sing Ling Ling, made by the finest bathtub gin brewing hobos that money can't buy because they all got arrested. Okay, admittedly, now that I've put the ad together in my brain, it sounds way less attractive. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe I was wrong. You know, this stuff we should just straight up deconstruct. This, this, we're not going to use it. And this steel is going to waste, and we could get a component back if we deconstruct this power switch. Also, we should probably deconstruct the power conduit under here. Let's just, let's take it all, take it all down. Tear it all down, guys. Tear it all down. We need that steel over here for our thermal generator anyway. Because it needs 400. I really want to kill that timber wolf, too. And we do need to build a machining table as well. We got so much stuff we need to build. I'm comfortable with the brewery being over here because we're not going to brew very much. I'm going to brew, add bill, make wort, do until you have, let's say, if it takes 25 wort per fermenting barrel and we have four fermenting barrels, well, we need 100 wort. I mean, this is math that even an idiot like myself can easily do. And yeah, I'm going to have to click this button 100 times. I'm not happy about it. Alaska, why are you green and slow? Oh, you're, are you wandering in a psychotic daze? You're wandering in a psychotic daze. Smoking that J ought to help your mood a bit, though, doesn't it? Why are you all sad? You're high on smoke leaf. you got tons of joy. Eight cooked insect meat. My friend Wendy died. Very ugly environment. Rebuffed by men. She's a married woman, dude. I mean, I know you're still heart... Actually, shouldn't you still be heartbroken over Wendy, by the way? Alaska Scholar is binging on smoke leaf. The final straw was hungry. Typically, those things go in a reverse order in that the hunger follows the smoke leaf binge. Call me crazy, but I think you may need to work on your, uh, your, your stoner etiquette. Is that the right word? Gotta, gotta, gotta work on your, gotta work on your chops a little bit. Tunes bringing steel. Okay. We're at 170 steel in. This is fine. 
we're going to get that geothermal generator. And these power troubles we've been having the last couple episodes are going to be a thing of the past. Also, somebody should haul this slag out of here. And no, I'm not talking about Lynx. It won't call me a slag. Colonies, yeah, we're rocking line along here. We're just rolling. Rolling on the river like a Tina Turner song. Rolling, rolling, rolling on the rim world. Stone cutter's table. Has, is anybody actually cutting stone? Because I can't help but notice that this thing is not getting finished. I may just have somebody prioritize this. You know what, Toon? When you get up, I don't know what it is that you're doing, but finishing this curtain wall is going to be your top priority. And also finishing this. This lynx can penetrate our defenses at will. Extreme break risk. Krusty is real pissed off. Well, the cold snap is over, and it's the 14th of winter. I'm considering maybe starting some crops here. Toon, I don't know what you're doing. Cannot work on blueprint. Need materials. Well, what about all this stone we've got? We have 122 slate. Use that. Okay, fine. You know what? Cancel all this then. If I have to build it out of slate, I'll build it out of slate. Orders. Cancel all this. All we have is slate blocks. Didn't think I'd have to micromanage you to this level, Toon. You're a freaking geneticist. I thought you'd be able to put two and two together, but oh, how wrong I was. Want to prioritize this shit now? Okay, who will craft but is not currently doing it or is not particularly good at it? Svergard. Well, he will do it. Who is anybody better at it? There's got to be somebody better. Nope. I was going to say, there's got to be somebody better than a four. The answer is Alaska. Who is doing... What are you doing right now, Alaska? Smoke, making a smoke leaf joint. Well, that's, I mean, also important. If you want to... Eh, this is fine. He's going to be done. Our bill is set to only make 30 smoke leaf joints. So he's going to be done rolling spliffs. Actually, you do, you do those one at a time? Seriously? No, you know what? Prior to stone cutting it, table. Start hacking. We need bricks more than we need drugs at the moment. Or clothing that I specifically told you to stop building, I believe. Do until I have three. Nope, he's working on a duster because apparently somebody's got tattered and we burned it. You gotta get some more of those sweet blocks in there, Alaska, so that Toon can finish that wall. That's really all I want. Toon, where are you going? He's got. He's off to get steel. How, there's a dead man and a sniper rifle out here. Well, it's not a very good sniper rifle, so I'm not that concerned about it. But this medicine should definitely be back. Is it one thing of it's one thing of medicine? You know, I still feel like it should be back in the base, though. How much steel can Svegard haul with only one arm? You know what? Here, guys, we're just gonna delete this. Uh, delete this storage area. I would like for you to take that steel back to base. Actually, we should also probably burn this man to death. Uh, I don't know. Don't don't forbid the blueprint. Forbid the dead guy. Can I not forbid the dead guy? I guess that's why he didn't get hauled then. Okay. Well, he's far away, so at least we won't have to smell it. Svegard is getting food poisoning from a simple meal. At least we won't have to, you know, enjoy the reek of his rotting corpse because he's far away. And it looks like Krusty has been doing a little bit of research, which is good. We need this research project done. I want my machining so I can get Svegard a new arm. It's been like three episodes and the colony is still struggling to recover from like five raids ago. Missing a lung. We finally got that patched up. Svegard needs a new arm. We can't build an arm. I really think we should be able to build him a hook hand. Everybody has food poisoning. Must have gotten to a bad batch of chicken salad or something. We, guys, the mayonnaise on that does not stay good forever. That stuff, you know, it'll turn on you. Be a little more careful. Got to give... Min has gotten food poisoning from a simple meal. Okay. Well, the colony's definitely gotten into a bad batch of something. I don't know whether it was the egg salad or... Well, it was probably the egg salad. I mean, you shouldn't eat a sandwich you find at a truck stop, guys. Have you never seen Futurama? You're going to get intestinal worms. Actually, doesn't somebody have intestinal worms? I say that as a joke, but uh, yeah, muscle parasites. Krusty actually has those already. Beautiful. Anybody else got uh, parasites? Food poisoning, food poisoning, food poisoning. 
stoned on smoke leaf and food poisoning. Maybe you shouldn't try to make... That's probably what gave us all food poisoning. I figured it out. Lynx has been doing culinary experiments with, like, a, a, the, the handcrafted artisanal THC-infused feuds. She'd be like, oh, you know, I'm going to make some... Uh, I don't know. It's got. It can't be hash brownies because that's just too pedestrian for a foodie. They'd have to do something else. It'd be like THC souffle. Be like, oh, we've made a delicious raspberry chocolate THC infused souffle. I think you're really gonna enjoy it. My wall is still not finished, by the way. I have 42 slate blocks. You know what, Toon? Take your food poisoning and finish that damn wall. When we get some more blocks, I may barricade this whole damn area in, but for now, the sort of curtain wall area is going to have to do. Meanwhile, Toon's going to stop and hork. Is this a really healthy color for vomit? I don't care how much food poisoning you have. Also, I guarantee Alaska has just been rebuffed again, have you not? Rebuffed by men times five, minus 20. You got you got to stop it off, man. She's a happily married woman. How many times has she got to tell you no, dog? No means no. Take the hint. That actually is something I, I don't often talk about this particular mechanics and development stuff of RimWorld, but I really feel like that is something that Tynan needs to address maybe in uh, update 16. The proclivity for people to try and make time with individuals who are already in a relationship, they seem to do that way often. Flirting is fine and trying to hook up. Sure, you're lonely on the rim world and men is literally one of the two women in the colony. But there, there's got to be like, there should be a limit. Once you've been rebuffed by someone so many times, you should they should just stop. There should be like a hard cap. Be like, oh, you know, they, they've told us no 40 times. I'm going to finally take the hint here that no means maybe no means no. Krusty has gone berserk. The final straw was his hideous environment. What kind of berserk rage is... Okay, so let's speed... I want to turn time down. What's Krusty doing? He's wandering and punching Svergrid. You're going to hit a man with one arm, Krusty? Is that how this is going to go? You're going to hit a man with one arm. That's a new low, Krusty. That's a new low. Svegard, run! Just get away from Krusty and cower. Krusty will snap out of it eventually. Come springtime, Krusty's mood will rally because we'll let him be nude, and he's happiest when he's naked. He ate cooked insect meat, got disturbed sleep, and now he doesn't give a shit about Alaska. He's like, as long as you're up there breaking rocks. Yeah, you keep up there breaking them rocks, and we'll be all right. Everything will be hunking door. You come out of that room, though. Krusty going to put a bullet in your eye hole. Nope, Lynx is running back. In. Okay, so Krusty's got a couple people pinned in their room. Now he's probably going to go take a swing at Alaska. Nope, Alaska's running outside. Svergard's finally making a break for it. Run, Svergard! Uh, what are you doing in Min's room, though? Are you hiding? He's cowering. Okay. Toon, watch out! Krusty's got a gun! <laughs> that right there is a smart man. Did you just see what Toon did? Walked in, saw Berserk Krusty holding a rifle, just like, nope, fuck this, turned around, immediately walked out. That's a man who knows what he's about. That's smart thinking, Toon, smart thinking. Krusty, whatever you do, do not pick a fight with Rick. Rick will rip off your arm the way the tribes people from the Pain Army tore off Svegards. Also, we should probably wrap this episode up. It's getting a little long. I know Krusty's lost his shit, and he's looking to fight. Oh, Toon, run! Dude, run! You gotta run! There you go. Break for it. Okay. Ah, uh, Krusty's fucking, I don't know. He's, he's clothing mad and looking to fight. We need to let him get naked again. It's, you know what? It's the first of spring. Let's do a couple things and then we're going to wrap it up. Otherwise I will forget between episodes. So here, what we're going to do. We're going to, first off, we allow sowing again. What are you growing? Rice is fine. Potatoes are fine. Corn is fine. Smoke leaf. Yeah, we could use a crop. We're down to two. Plant cotton. Cotton is also good. And while we're at it, let's spawn a couple more growing zones here. Um, production. No, it's zone area. We need a growing zone. Let's, let's slap down a couple more growing zones here. We're going to do one here. And let's do one here. We're going to have to move some of those rocks, but that's probably fine. And we don't need to get anything fancy here. I just would like... Let's just do some more rice and I think another... You know what? Potatoes. Perfectly acceptable. A little extra rice, a little extra potatoes. We got plenty of power now that our geothermal vent is online. 
And I think we're good. I'm going to wrap this one up. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Of course, your support does really mean a lot. And if you'd like to see the end of Krusty's Berserker Fury, what did he do to Svegard, by the way? I mean, he took a shot at him. I Okay, he landed a couple good punches, but... Uh, can you really say you landed a couple good punches against a guy who's only got one arm, Krusty? <sighs> it's like kicking the wheelchair kid and Malcolm in the middle. I mean, sure, you can do it. And yeah, it's sort of fun. And he, he is kind of irritating with that breathy, delayed voice of his. But you still shouldn't. I mean, don't feel like you want to fight, Krusty. Beating up a cripple doesn't make you a man. I got off into a weird tangent. Anyway, if you want to watch Krusty beat some more cripples, you know what to do. Right now, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.